Welcome to part two, where we're going to color her in with acrylic markers. I'm going to use my Posca pens and then a couple of my SimpTap markers, and then I'm going to outline in Posca pens and put in some highlights. The way I'm going to do this is have my finished drawing on the screen for you so you can see where I'm going to color things in and follow along and make that a little easier for you. I'm going to tell you the colors I'm using in the comment section, along with any links or anything for the supplies that I'm using. Again, this is Bristol paper. I could have used any paper pretty much for the most part using the acrylic markers, but I want them all to be the same size. So I'm going to use this paper no matter what supply I'm going to use for each of the drawings. So for Madame Medusa, I'm going to be coloring in her dress, her crazy hair, and then her eyes and her lips and her earrings. And that's it. So I think I'm going to start with her hair. That's a big area. Now her hair is kind of like an orangey red basically, but I don't really have those colors exactly within my acrylic marker. So I'm just going to do the best I can and I'm going to be using oranges and red. And we'll just kind of make it work. So I'm going to go in first with my big fat mamma jamma. It's just orange and just kind of putting in some directional lines so we can kind of get an idea where the flow of her, the, the directionality and the flow of her hair. And these, this is a chisel nib, but if you turn it to the side, you can kind of get a little bit of a smaller line. And again, I can kind of shore up the shape a little bit when I bring in the other color, the red color. Plus I'm going to do a couple of layers. And then this is her ear right here, so I'm going to leave that. Her hair is kind of crazy, so I'm not going to stress about it being perfect because her hair is literally a hot mess. So as long as I kind of get some of the directionality in, I'm happy. bit of the gaps. I'm going to do some like little flicking motions to kind of with for the directionality, kind of hitting some of those spots that I missed the first time. And it's okay to leave some of those anyways if you want to because it can just be like kind of natural highlights. Now with paint markers you can layer. So if I feel like I get too much red I can go with some orange. I can do a little bit back and forth. to go back in with a little bit of the orange just to add a little bit more variation then that's that works too you certainly don't have to you could also just make it straight up red I'm gonna go back in also with a little bit of white highlights and then I'll also bring in a little bit of the black so color in a little bit of those white spots if you want I'm not gonna worry about every single little spot just kind of the bigger ones because again I am going to come back in and add a little bit of highlight towards the end. There. 
I quite like that. And her eyes are crazy. They're this weird green color, but I only have like this weird green color. So I'm going to use this color. It's J407 in the SimTap. Try to keep my circle. I'm good at messing up my circles. And I am going to go ahead and just go right on through the little pupil because I can put that back in. And remember, when using acrylic markers, be careful if you push down with the nib because it can make all of the paint release. And that is a tragedy. I'm going to go ahead and move on to this earring here. And I'm using gold for the part that's attached to her ear and the little part that hooks them together. And then I'm going to be using this um, turquoisey color. When it comes to using the acrylic markers in just a solid space, it doesn't matter as much the directionality because it's so opaque. I'm just trying to put the tip of the brush nib right along the line that I drew in. Try to keep my circle. That's why I have to turn it so I can make sure that I'm keeping that nib right up against that line. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you've seen the rescuers, if you liked it. I think it's a really good one. Oldie but a goodie. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a, these are dry, so I'm gonna put another coat in her eyes. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let that dry for a second and I'm gonna do her lips. Her lips, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a darker red. This is dark red. It's literally dark red. Um, instead of the other red, just to have a little bit of a variation between her hair and her lips. Pull it up here a little closer. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. And then I'm going to start with this strap over here and I'm going to be using just a different shade of red. It's just going to be in the SimTap instead. I'm going to do her eyeshadow. It's purple. It's kind of like a lavender purple, I think, in the actual movie. But I am going to use some artistic license and I'm going to use my glitter purple Posca pen. Just want to make sure these are dry. There's a scene that's hilarious when she's taking off her false eyelashes that I almost had us do instead, but it was a little bit harder to draw and I wanted to kind of keep it simplified for you, for everybody. Now I will bring it this kind of all the way under just a thin line. And then I'll kind of go back over that a little bit with the black whenever I outline it. She thinks she's all that in a bag of chips. She's all a something. So you can kind of see Hopefully a little bit of shimmer there. And I'm going to go ahead and color in this other earring and then this part of her dress and then we'll do the outlines and the highlights and then we'll be done. You do have to be a little bit careful on this paper so that you don't want to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth a hundred times when it's wet because it can tear. So you just want to be mindful. Okay, now I'm going to do some outline. And like I did with Yzma, I'm going to use a couple of different weights of lines. So for her facial features and things like that, I'm going to use a thinner Posca pen. It's 0.7 millimeters. I'll turn her upside down for a second. Get this eyebrow. I'm going to make them just a little bit thicker up at the top because I want to. I think it makes her look more, <laughs> more like a lunatic even more so. You just want to kind of take your time when you're doing outlining. Don't really rush it.
on her lip, there's this little bitty part right here. So like this would be the bottom lip and then this is kind of the little inside part. And then her little line for her teeth. This is just going to kind of define the hair a little bit more. I'm going to kind of start putting in a little bit of directionality lines like I usually do. the lashes and then add some highlights she has a lot of lashes and as I said before this is the eye then you, the directionality matters it's kind of like um, parentheses so it's kind of like that of course they wouldn't all be that long but they're usually a little smaller when you get to the very inside okay you get the gist I think I've said before that I always do one side better than the other. This side's always a little bit wonky for some reason. Sometimes I turn my paper to try to help. This is where the eyelashes are gonna come out of, right along her eye there. a few highlights and then we'll be done I'm gonna start I think with this uh, it's 2.5 Posca these are very whimsical so it's fun to just go in and add a little bit of highlight for some texture and then I always like to put a little highlight on the lip and then if you want to put one in her eye you can you'll put a little one but whatever you do on one side you have to do exactly the same on the other I think she's done I have a few pencil lines that I'm going to erase so now we have our Madame Medusa and our Yzma I hope you're having as much fun as I am drawing these villains to celebrate October if you are enjoying my content I would really appreciate it if you liked my videos and gave me some love in the comments, then gave me a follow. It really helps me in growing my channel and finding more amazing people like you to grow in my community. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much. And here's a little sneak peek of next week's villain, Madam Mim from The Sword and the Stone. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.